Hello everyone, Jeff Johnson, creator of Weathermaker. New in Weathermaker 4 are null zones, which are a replacement for null fog zones. Null zones have a number of advantages over the old null fog zones. Number one, they can be rotated, so if your house isn't completely at zero degrees, you can rotate the null zone box with your house, which is great. The shader will take care of dealing with that for you. Second of all, I've added null zone profiles, which have a number of capabilities. Uh, the main capability is that you can determine what kinds of things the null zone will block. For example, you can block precipitation, you can block fog, you can block the overlay like the full screen snow, and you can block water fog. So if you look at the Weathermaker Prefab Profiles Null Zone Resources folder, let's take a look at one of these profiles. We have a concept of states here. The default state is kind of the fallback state. And right now we have one other state, and that's the entered state. So if the player is inside the null zone, then the entered state will be used if it is enabled. If it's not enabled, then the default state will be used. Conversely, you can actually turn off the default state and just use the entered state and enable that. So do that. If you do that, then the null zone will actually be deactivated until the player goes inside, which can save performance because no need to have a null zone rendering if the player's not inside of it. For example, a shed that's completely closed off, you don't need that null zone to work until the player goes inside the shed, potentially. So, Let's show you how this works in practice. Uh, I've already determined this building here. I would like to make sure the snow and rain doesn't come through the roof or through the sides of these semi-open walls here. To do that, uh, a great way is to just create an empty null zone object. Perfect. And I've actually added a special null zone prefab for cases where you have a semi-open building like this. It's called the Weathermaker Null Zone Open Building Prefab. So let's pop that right in. This is already set up to have a ground null zone and a main area null zone. I'm going to go ahead and scale this to fit the building. I've already figured out the right dimensions for this earlier to make sure that this thing actually fits the building. So let's show you how this looks. You can see down here we have the ground and then slightly above that we have the main area and I will explain now why there's two separate areas. The ground actually uses an open ground profile, which does not allow anything at any point to render. No precipitation, snow overlay, nothing. The main area has a open main profile, which does something slightly differently. By default, the snow overlay is actually allowed to render. However, if the player goes inside, then the snow overlay is turned off. Let's show you how this works in practice. I'm going to run this scene, turn on some snow, get some clouds going. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the scene view for performance reasons. And let's turn on the snow overlay so you can see all of this in action. That's great. That's exactly what we want. Even if we turn the intensity all the way up, you'll notice that there's sort of an invisible shield here blocking the precipitation from coming into view, which is exactly what we want. Now you could turn off the null zone. I mean, if you've got a raging blizzard going on, maybe it's just impacting your entire scene and you don't care if this fills up this area, but it does look a little bit funny to having all the snow coming through the roof. However, if that's the effect you want, don't bother with a null zone in the open building case. However, if you had a building that was completely closed off except for a door, you'd probably want to use a null zone. So let's turn the null zone back on. You'll notice that that snow overlay is no longer rendering. And now let me show you what I mean by when the player leaves the null zone, that overlay gets turned off. So now the overlay is allowed to render, and that's because this main zone only blocks the overlay when you're inside. If you're not inside, that overlay can render. 
let me show you what would happen if you just picked nothing here. Now you lose the snow overlay even when you're not inside the building, which doesn't really look right, especially if you're, say, on a path looking up at the building. You may wonder, hey, why is there no snow on the roof here? That's kind of weird. So let's go back inside. One thing to be aware of is as you're entering the building, it's going to turn that snow overlay off. So as you can see, not inside the building, we've got snow right there. And as we come in, that disappears. And that may be a little bit jarring. And if that's the case, you may consider leaving the snow overlay on entirely. But it does look kind of weird once you're inside to be having that snow overlay on top of these things. But you'll just have to decide what works best for your game and your situation. So null zones, again, just to recap, they can be rotated. There's a null zone open building prefab, and then there's a regular null zone prefab that just blocks everything all the time. Null zones have profiles and require a box collider. Profiles have a default state, which is kind of the fallback state. There's also this entered state that, if enabled, player goes inside the box collider then it uses this render mask and also let's briefly discuss the fade parameter before we wrap this up so I can show you what this looks like by coming to the edge here so we've got kind of a nice fade transition from null zone to not this stuff right here by the barrel is actually outside the null zone and that's just this full screen effect being aware of the edge of the null zone and fading nicely so if we go to this ground profile, you'll notice that the fade will become a harder and harder edge as that comes up, and then up to 100, it will just simply give up and do a completely hard edge there. That, may, that doesn't look as nice, so I would suggest keeping the fade to some value that you think looks nice for your particular situation. Uh, if, you go, if you go really low on the fade, then you can fade really far out, but this is probably way too far out, so we turn that back. But if you've got a huge roof or something and you want to fade further out from the base, this can go down pretty far. Okay, I think that wraps up Null Zones in Weathermaker 4. Again, this replaces Null Fog Zones, so if you're upgrading from Weathermaker before version 4, then you are going to have to replace your Null Fog Zones because they don't exist anymore. All right, thanks for watching. Please send me any questions to support at digitalruby.com. I'd love to answer your questions. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.